everybody. Welcome to this month's drawing tutorial. Um, I thought it would be really fun uh, if I taught everyone how to draw some of the things from this month's coloring book. Okay, uh, this month's theme is down on the farm. I thought there was some really good examples of some fun things that we could draw that um, are a little bit simple, like our fun little goat here. Okay, um, but then we can also learn how to draw tractors and stuff too. So, we're going to start with our goat, and I want you to start with an oval, okay? Plain old oval, and then you can give this oval some cute and fluffy little ears and some big spiky horns. You could even make them curly if you wanted to, okay? Then we're going to give him a nose, and our goats have funny Y-shaped noses, and he's a happy goat, so his little smile is going to curl around, and goats have little beards, so scribble in a little beard, and then you can give him some eyes. I know some of you are really good at drawing cute eyes, so you could leave the eyes like that, or you can give him some really adorable goat eyes. Okay, all of a sudden our goat looks like a girl. That's fine with me. All right, then we're going to move into the body. The body, we're going to go right off the back of his head. We're going to do a little whoosh and down. Okay, then near the front of the body, we're going to do the same thing. And then we're going to kind of scribble in a scruffy, okay, come off the tail with a little swish and then bump, 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 bump till you get back to the bum. Then we need to give him a leg. So each leg is the same. You're going to draw two lines and add a hoof. Two lines, add a hoof. Two lines, add a hoof. Two lines, add a hoof. And then you can just draw little lines there. And if you want him to be a decorated spotty goat, you can put some spots on there, but you don't have to. I mean, maybe he's a super special goat and he has like tiger stripes or something or he's just plain whatever you want maybe you know a goat you can make it look just like the goat you know okay so there's a goat lots of fun um let's see what else does this fun book have there's a goat got some fruit i think you guys are probably pretty good at drawing some fruits and vegetables so we won't go there okay i thought maybe it would be fun have you ever been to a local maple syrup farm? It's kind of fun. I thought maybe we could draw um, a bottle of syrup. So you start with a nice bottom. It's a little curved. And then you're going to draw whoop, whoop, two more curves and continue them in until you have a small little spot for a neck. You're going to come up one side with that neck. On the other side, we're going to draw a circle and then the neck. Okay, you can draw a little in there, put a circle in the circle. That's where your little finger goes. If you want, you could put a cork inside of it so the syrup doesn't leak out. Now, because it's a glass bottle, we want to do a couple little lines here and there to show that it's shiny. Then we can put in our label, okay? And let's learn how to do a maple leaf really quickly. Sometimes, um, I find that people have a really hard time doing this, and I think it's pretty easy if you break it down into shape. So I'm gonna start at the bottom of my maple leaf with a bottom line and put a stem on it, okay? Pretty simple. Then I'm gonna make two little angles, okay? Now above these angles, I'm gonna jump up a little bit. I'm gonna make two dots. From there, I'm gonna go like that. I'm going to go in and in. I'm going to go up and down. Okay, that's the top of our maple leaf. That's the bottom of our maple leaf. Now we just need to do the sides. So we have to go out and out, out and out, down, down, but don't let them touch. Okay, and then add a point. Okay, now mine's a little squishy. But that's okay, because I could just make these points a little bit bigger, and then all of a sudden, it looks a little bit better. Uh, so you can just erase some of these inside lines here. 
None of my pencils have erasers, so you'll have to imagine that um, I erase those inside lines. Uh, if you wanted to put some stem work in there, you could do one stem that goes straight up, branches off into these points, another stem that comes up like that. Okay? If you wanted to, you could put maple syrup. that you could put made in Canada you could put made in whatever town that you got your syrup from I know syrup gets made in Dunville Richardson's farm so you could put Richardson's farm on there I'm sure that they would love to see some drawings you could even share them with them um, so there that's how you make a little syrup bottle what else do we have in here that could inspire us if there's something in here that you're like, I would love to know how to draw this, this would be lots of fun. What about this sweet little piggy? I think this was one of my favorite piggies to draw. I wanted him to be extra cute. I didn't want him to just be a, a boring little piggy. So we're gonna start our piggy. I turned the page, okay, so it's nice and tall. And I'm gonna start my pig with his nose, okay. Such a happy pig. All right, then from there, I'm gonna draw two lines. This line is gonna go zoop all the way under the nose. And then I'm gonna make his smile, his little tongue, give him a little lip underneath. Okay, his eyes. And you can just color them in to make them a little thicker. The little eyebrows. He's got a face. He just doesn't have a head yet. So we're going to draw in the head. Bloop. Bloop. He's got big cheeks, big happy cheeks. Okay. Then he's got these big piggy ears. Okay. Bloop. And remember, you can pause if I'm going too fast. Okay. Oh, he's such a happy pig. Okay, now for the belly, I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna go wobble. And then I'm gonna draw another wobble, wobble. Okay, and then I'm gonna do another one down here, wobble. Okay, but this, I like this here, I like this here. This makes him look a little skinny, so I'm gonna fix that. So I've readjusted it. Now he's kind of got a, a pudgy piggy belly. Okay, over here, I'm gonna draw a U. All right, and then I'm gonna fill that U in with a V, and then put, and then attach that to the body. And look, he's got a little piggy arm. If you wanna do extra detail, you can put a little spike in there. Okay, so there's one piggy arm. Then we're gonna do the similar over here. We're gonna do another U with a V inside. Okay, give it a second there. And then this time, this little piggy arm is kind of coming out with the front of his body. Then his little feet. His feet, same thing. We're gonna do those Vs inside our Us. Okay, we're gonna give the side of his hoof I'm gonna draw a little piggy hoof in there, and then we're gonna attach, we're gonna attach this and give him a fat little bottom. And of course, the little piggies look really cute. Okay, and then if you wanna make them splattered in mud, you can do some mud splattering and some splashing mud. big mud puddle under his bottom. What do you think? There's a pig. Let's find our tractor. There. Let's finish off with the tractor. For a tractor, okay, 
we're going to start with a big circle and a little circle. On top of each of these circles, we're going to draw a caterpillar. We can erase our tar lines inside of those caterpillars. Okay. Now on the outside of the rest of the circle, we're just going to give some bumps because tires have big treads. If you've already watched the ceramic painting work uh, tutorial, you'll notice that their tires do have treads on them. Okay. And inside to finish off our tires, we're going to do one circle inside of another circle with some bolts. From there, we're going to draw a long line, okay, up at the top from here, and a long line here. Just like that. We can put in a squiggly line for our seek. We could put in the dash and the wheel. We can put in the stairs to help us get up into our big tractor. Okay, and then we can put on the front end. So I'm going to start by putting them um, here. I'll put that side on there. I can put some details in there. I'm going to put a pipe. So one rectangle on top of another, on top of another. Add some details in there. Okay. And then the line, just like that. And there's your tractor. Okay. So feel free to take your marker, outline everything, color it in, learn to draw, teach someone else how to draw something fun. And please send in some pictures of what you've drawn, what you've colored. I'd love to see them. Okay. And if you're having fun and you'd like to do this in the fall, check out our fall barracks boxes because we have one coming out every month from now until Christmas. Okay. So thanks so much guys. I hope you have fun.